Pick is in by the Charlotte Hornets. They have made their selection. And Gary, it's your guy, Jalen Duran out of Memphis. But at this point right now, we're not sure if he's staying in Charlotte or he's headed elsewhere. Uh, Jalen Duran becoming a, a lottery pick here. I don't think a, a lot of people uh, said no, he's not going to be a lottery pick, but we saw him at times struggle at Memphis. What do you make of this pick here by Charlotte? If in fact they keep Jalen Duran uh, 13th overall. Well, there is reporting out there that indicates he is being moved to Detroit. Okay. So you've got a really nice, interesting young core in in Detroit now, and I would give this an A plus because Duran was the highest guy on my best available list at this point in the draft. I had him as a top 10 pick. Now, it's a guy who. If he was drafted or draft eligible 20 years ago, he'd probably been a top five pick. But the game has changed a little bit. And, you know, he's a super athlete. The body is incredible. He's a real rim protector, not like uh, Chet Holmgren or uh, Walker Kessler or Mark Williams, but, you know, he can still alter shots and pin them against the backboard. Um, there's some issues with him trying to guard in space. How good is he going to be at that? And then he can do some stuff away from the rim. But he's not going to stretch it all the way out to the three point line. At least there's no indication so far in his life that he's capable of doing that. But just because um, the Evan Mobley type center is the most valuable big you can have now doesn't mean there's not a place in the league for guys like Jalen Duran. And I think this is great value, you know, outside of the top 10. And you look at Robert Williams from the Boston right. Celtics. That's a nice comparable. Yeah. He has a place. Maybe he's not going to be a 38 minute guy. But 26 minutes a game, have a role where he starts. Part-time starter come off the bench. Looney from the Golden State Warriors. Uh, he just needs to be himself. He doesn't need to try to recreate himself if he ends up and lands in Detroit. But, man, if he lands in Detroit, boy, that, that's Detroit would have an outstanding uh, yeah. draft in the first round. And that's what we're hearing. So if Jalen Duran goes to Detroit, now he's got a point guard. Uh, now he's got Jay Nivey alongside. Now he's got Cade Cunningham. Maybe we see a huge growth in Jalen Duran under Dwayne Casey in Detroit because maybe this is his moment here where he really seeks in and, and reaches his potential. Well, we've used the term swing skill a couple times here tonight. Uh, Jalen Duran's swing skill is his motor. Um, Jalen Duran is the most physically impressive big man in this draft, and it's not particularly close. I mean, when he goes to dunk the ball, he rips the rim off. He can run the floor. He's exceptionally long. He does just about everything from a physical standpoint. Uh, he's been one of the top prospects since he was a freshman in high school, but the motor hasn't always lived up to it. So sometimes the production, or at least the consistency of it, doesn't uh, impress as much as his potential does. If he ever gets to the point where he's an everyday guy, his game's going to go to the next level. And keep in mind, he was super productive at Memphis, frankly better than I thought he would be, and he played with no point guard. Right. If he'd have been playing with Avery Johnson, <laughs> he'd have averaged 19, 20 points a game just catching lobs off of a ball screen. And, and I'd be remiss if I didn't add, he's 18 years old. Right. He should have been a senior in high school last year. He's only 18 years old. So although we've been watching him for four-plus years, it's still really early in his trajectory. Well, Kemba Walker headed to the Pistons as part of this deal. So you want to talk about playing with a point guard. Mm. There you go. Well, and somebody's going to hold you accountable. I, I love that. I mean, this, this Detroit's right now looking like a winner. Well, I love Kemba Walker like seven years ago. I know, but still, <laughs> yeah. he can still run the floor. Sure. He, can still, he can still run the show. You don't sure. need him to do a ton of stuff. Right, right, right. I, think Kim I mean, Walker. you said you wanted, you wanted a, a guy that was that's be able to handle the point guard role for Jalen Duran. That's just the guy when, that can about when you see Jalen Duran roll to the basket, just throw it up right. at the rim and let him go get Kemba it. Kemba can do that. Sure. But also, there's a premium on guys like Andre Iguodala, the way he coaches the Warriors on the bench to help Steve Kerr. Now you bring in a veteran like a Kimball Walker. That's a veteran guy. He's, they're not depending on his on the court ability as much as his veteran presence. All right, with more here on Jalen Duran, let's send it over to Poppy Miller. Thanks, Hakeem. Back here with Travis Branham. Uh, talking of Jalen Duran, we just touched on the fact he's only 18 years old, six foot 11. What's the biggest upside that you think he will bring to Detroit? This is an elite talent. He was actually the former number one prospect in the 2022 class prior to Shane Sharp uh, achieving that lofty uh, title himself. But 
So as a, as the number one player in the class, he was an elite rim runner and rim protector when he wanted to be. As Adam said, his swing skill is his motor. Uh, so if he figures this out, if he starts playing with the motor, this is a kid that could eventually become an all-star. He can be an elite rim protector, elite rebounder. He can switch onto the perimeter and playing with a guy like LaMelo Ball to make him look really good with the Hornets. Yeah, absolutely. So he doesn't only look like he's just 18 years old. He plays beyond it as well. Back to you, Hakeem. All right, thank you, Pop. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.